Degeneration of my vocal cords has taken away my speech. My hands and arms are becoming weaker. The blouse I have on today I could put on myself two weeks ago. Today I need my husband's help to dress. I know I will not survive to see a cure. As a scientist in public health, it has been my life's work and that of many, many colleagues around the world to improve the health of all people, to be the wave that lifts all boats. Let me say that there is a panic in the ALS community. Cuts to NIH funding for ALS research and clinical trials remove all hope that any of us with ALS will live beyond the two to five year expected survival. NIH funding cuts remove the hope that ALS will ever be a livable disease. Just a lot of distress um, because nobody knows what to expect. So there are the obvious things that cutting NIH just takes away. There's our research grants, right? So that's things that matter here because one of those grants is about how do we use insecticides more effectively to control mosquitoes, right? We don't want to be dumping tons and tons of insecticide into the environment if we don't need to. Um, and so we're trying to find smarter, better ways of doing that. That's an example of something that, that really matters in Fort Collins. Every time that we have to spray for mosquitoes, everybody gets really unhappy, as you might imagine, right? So there's that. We have these training grants. Um, and when those are cut, we lose our ability to recruit these great, bright, hopeful, passionate young people that you've heard others tell you about. And if this goes much further, I think we're going to lose a generation of early career researchers. That is not going to be easy to um, reproduce in, in our lifetimes. They, they can't hire people. They can't continue the progress. In some cases, they're talking about, can they keep labs open? They've been there for years and years. It's, it's, it's very frustrating. And I think as more people in Colorado but across the country hear about these, uh, these setbacks uh, in terms of, of consistent funding for real, you know, the, the, the real medical research that changes the world. I think people are going to, I think they're going to be pissed off. I think we're going to hear from them. And, and we should. That this is uh, irresponsible to interrupt, the, let the National Institute of Health interrupt their funding.